19th problem evaluate integral root over 1 plus secant x dx. So, let us change the secant x in terms of cos x. So, now say first i equals to integral root of 1 plus secant x dx. Now, this 1 plus secant x can be written as 1 plus 1 by cos x and this can be written 1 plus cos x by cos x. So, now i becomes integral root over 1 plus cos x by this is cos x dx. So, now whereas this cos x can be written as 1 minus 2 sin square x by 2, whereas 1 plus cos x is we know or 1 minus 2 sin square x or we can write uh, 2 better 1 minus 2 sin square x by 2 only. 1 plus cos x means that is 2 cos square x by 2. Okay, let us substitute these values. So, this is integral of cos x is 1 minus 2 sin square x by 2, this is 2 cos square x by 2 root over 2 cos square x by 2 by cos x is 1 minus 2 sin square x by 2 and dx. This can be written root 2 common integral 1 by root of 1 minus 2 sin square x by 2 this is cos x by 2 dx. Now, if you observe this cos x by 2 is the part of the derivative of sin x by 2. So, now put sin x by 2 is equal to t. So, cos x by 2 into derivative of x by 2 is 1 by 2 dx is equal to dt. Now, what does this cos x by 2 into dx? Cos x by 2 into dx is 2 dt. So, now this can be written as root 2 times integral 1 by root over 1 minus 2 sin square x by 2 into 2 dt. This becomes 2 t square and 2 dt. Now, take 2 common here that means root 2 root 2 gets cancelled 2 root of 1 by root of 1 by 2 minus t square dt. This is 2 times integral 1 by root of 1 by root 2 square minus t square dt. 1 by root of a square minus x square dx that is sin inverse x by a. So, 2 sin inverse t by 1 by root 2 root 2 t. What does t stands for sin x by 2? So, 2 times sin inverse of root 2 sin of x by 2 plus constant of integration. Twentieth problem. Twentieth, evaluate integral dx by one plus x to the power of four. Now, solution i is equal to integral one by one plus x to the power of four dx. Let us write this 1 or 
now 2 can be written as uh, x square plus 1 and minus of x square minus 1. Let us observe x square x square gets cancelled minus of minus plus 1 this becomes 2. So, now using this identity here multiply with 2 divide by 2 1 by 2 and 2 by 1 plus x to the power of 4 dx write down. This 2 replaced by this one. So, now this of integral of x square plus 1 and minus of x square minus 1 by x to the power of 4 plus 1 dx. Now, we can split two integrals of times integral x square plus 1 by x to the power of plus 1 dx and minus integral of x square minus 1 by x to the power of 4 plus 1 dx. Here numerator and denominator divide by x square, here also divide by x square. So, this can be written half into integral 1 plus 1 by x square by this is 1 plus 1 by x square plus 1 dx, this x square means 1 by x square and 1 by this is x square dx and minus integral of this becomes 1 minus 1 by x square by 1 by x square plus x square dx. So, now this let us write of into integral 1 by this is x minus 1 by x whole square plus 2 1 plus 1 by x square dx right on. minus integral this is 1 minus 1 by x square by x plus 1 by x whole square minus 2 dx right. On. Here very interesting the 1 by 1 plus x square is the derivative of x minus 1 by x. Here 1 minus 1 by x square is the derivative of x plus 1 by x whole square. So, that means this again we write half into suppose if you say this will be u, this will be v suppose this becomes integral 1 by v square plus root 2 square dv minus integral 1 by v square minus root 2 square u square sorry u square that is now this is this is u u square this is v only this is du this will be dv and now this is we know directly we can write 1 by 2 1 by a 1 by root 2 tan inverse u by root 2 and minus this will be x square minus a square form 1 by 2 a 1 by 2 root 2 log mod v minus root 2 by v plus root 2. Let us check u stands for x minus 1 by x, v stands for x plus 1 by x. So, therefore, i equals to we can write uh, 1 by 2 root 2 tan inverse 1 by root 2 multiplied by x minus 1 by x and minus 1 by 4 root 2 log x plus 1 by x minus root 2 
by x plus 1 by x plus root 2 plus constant of integration.